I was nervous. I was nervous to get married because my husband wanted us to write our own wedding vows. He has feelings. <laughs> I don't know how to express myself. I was so nervous my wedding vows were gonna be the most New York gangster vows. I was so afraid I was gonna get up there and be like, yo, I dead ass love you, son. Yo, oh God, I love you, my guy. And then we just chest bump. <laughs> I'm like, let's do this. <laughs> the priest is like, you may now dap the bride. I'm like, facts. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night, man. I was just up. 3 a.m., chilling with my demons. <laughs> That's all it is, man. I was like, what's up, insecurities? <laughs> hey, procrastination, funny you'd be on time for this. <laughs> You're never doing anything productive. That's the most frustrating thing. If you're like me, you're just up rethinking conversations you had during the day and coming up with better responses. <laughs> or you're on the internet for the next 97 hours looking at weird animal friendship videos. <laughs> Which are my favorite, by the way. I love those videos. I'm like, a kitten and a monkey? How'd they even meet? I grew up watching both Latino television and American television, and I noticed the similarities. A lot of the programs were similar, it's just that Latinos, we always gotta be extra. We always gotta be extra. It's like we looked at regular soap operas and we were like, you call that drama? That's cute. I'll show you drama. Right? Everything's extra about what we do. Like, on American television, they got Kelly and Ryan. We got El Gordo y la Flaca. That's right. Which translates to the fat man and the skinny woman. Cause who cares what their names are? I married a good dude. I got me a 1978 Caucasian. My husband's white. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. He's not just white. He is Midwest white. Yeah, that's right. That's organic girl. That is. That is farm-to-table white, y'all, like that. I got duped by a lot of those dating apps because someone taught guys about high angles and filters, and now they're using our tricks against us, ladies. <laughs> how's that gonna work, man? I don't look like how I'm supposed to look. You don't look like how you're supposed to look. How are we gonna find each other at this restaurant? <laughs> First white guy I dated was years ago. He took me to his parents' lake house, and I was like, oh? Cause that's when I found out white people buy houses that they don't live in. <laughs> I was like, that's money, money. <laughs> My favorite new game is lying to Uber drivers about what I do for a living. Cause I used to stupidly tell them the truth. I tell them I'm a comedian and then they'd be like, say something funny. <laughs> but when I tell them I'm a stripper, no more questions. <laughs> so I stalked him. That's what you do when you like a guy. <laughs> Every woman in here knows she's part FBI agent. <laughs> That's right. Soon as I had his full name, I launched a cyber investigation. <laughs> do you know how hard it was when I met his family to pretend like I didn't know everything about them already? <laughs> I was so afraid <laughs> that I was gonna say someone's name before they introduced themselves. <laughs> like, hey, Miriam, how you doing, girl? I mean, hey, girl, what's your name? <laughs> how are the renovations on the house going? <laughs> I'm supposed to know that. My husband loves the fact that he's married a sassy Latina. <laughs> he loves to bring it up in conversation when it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> we're like, hey, guys. My wife's Puerto Rican. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> I get it. I mean, he's excited. I'm the only Latin woman he's ever been with, so I'm his first. <laughs> he's not my first white guy. I have a... <laughs> I've been with white guys before. <laughs> Mainly to get information and take it back to my people. <laughs> Your wife must have a sense of humor.
She's seen you naked. Oh. Drop my cucumber. Do I call you or do I just commit a crime? Probably committing a crime would get me to you quicker. This is me at my most inviting. 